So if you haven't learned by now, the currency markets are open five and a half days a week, 24 hours a day. Um, so they open Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern time and close, the market closes Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern time. So it's not like the stock market where it's open at 9 a.m. to 4 o'clock every day. Um, it's actually open 24 hours a day from Sunday to Friday. So you could pretty much pick your own schedule when it comes to currency trading. So let's say you work a job um, all day long, you could still come home at night and you know plug in some trades. Um, so there's four different four main sessions that you want to you know jot down right now. Uh, the first one is the Sydney session. That's open from 4 p.m. Eastern time to 1 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, next, you got the Asian session. Asian <laughs> session. Uh, also known as the Tokyo session that's open from 6 p.m. to 3 a.m. and then at 3 a.m. the London market opens um, and that's open until 10 a.m. and then obviously we have the New York session uh, that's open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. so there's four different sessions that are active you know these are the most volatile times in the market uh, depending on what currency you're trading so jot these down and you know I'll have a little I'll have a schedule or something like that under this video so that you know you can print it out, post it on your wall or whatever. Um, so these are the specific time frames that you know you should be trading. Literally pick which one's best for you. Um, I like the New York session because I like to wake up early. Uh, so I'll check my trades around 6 a.m. and then the market opens at 8 a.m. That usually gives them you know a nice kick. Um, to finish out the day so figure out which session you want to be trading in and you know pick the currency that relates to that session so in the Asian session you want to be trading you know the yen pairs are more volatile um, New York session US pairs are more volatile so keep that in mind and you know literally pick your own schedule when it comes to trading and get a specific time frame down that you want to uh, that you want to be trading so you don't want to be trading all day that's how you start losing money um, so pick a pick a session um, start you know start watching how the market reacts during those times because I guarantee you it's gonna be different than the rest of the day you know these time frames are when big banks open overseas um, and they actively start trading currencies so the rates fluctuate a lot during these time frames. So those are the four main time zones. Um, pick your time zone, get ready.